How to do the pure tone audiometry test using the AAM1C1. Pretest. Explain the test method to the patient. Tell them to keep pressing the button while they hear the test sound and release it when they no longer hear the sound. Place the air conduction earphones on the patient. Before mounting, tell the patient to remove their jewellery, hearing aids and eyeglasses. Place the red earphone over the right ear and the blue earphone over the left ear. Be careful not to mistake left and right. Adjust the length so that the earphone pads fit snugly on the ears. If the headband doesn't fit, adjust it with a towel, etc. Do the pretest to make sure the patient knows how to operate the switch. Press the transducer button to select air. Press the ear button to select R or L. Set the frequency to 1000 Hz. Set the hearing level dial to 40 dB. When the patient hears 40 dB, even faintly, they should press the patient's response switch. The response lamp will light up. And the screen will flash at the same time. If there is no response at 40 dB, turn the hearing level dial to increase in 10 dB steps and check if the response lamp lights up each time. If there is no response, even if the tone is increased, please explain the test method to the patient again. Main test. In the main test, the threshold level is measured at each frequency to be tested. When the patient responds by pressing the patient switch button, press the threshold button. The threshold level is displayed and recorded on the audiogram screen. If there is no response by the patient, even at the maximum output level, press the No Response button. Also, the frequency can easily be switched sequentially with the Next Frequency button. The test sound stops when you press the Tone Switch button and starts when the button is released. This operation can be reversed so that the test sound starts when you press the Tone Switch button and stops when the button is released. Press the ear button to switch the ears to be examined and perform the test on the other ear. If a masking noise is required, operate the screen to start this. The masking noise output level can be adjusted with the masking level dial. After the air conduction threshold test is carried out, Perform the bone conduction threshold test. The bone conduction vibrator should be placed on the mastoid bone, not touching the earlobe and not pinching any hair. To avoid it slipping down, set the other side diagonally, when viewed from the top of the head, so that it rests on the temple. When using an air conduction earphone to mask noise, make sure that the air conduction earphone opposite the bone conduction vibrator is placed on the ear. On the bone conduction vibrator side, make sure that the air conduction earphone is not on the ear. Press the transducer button to select bone. Press the ear button to select R or L. After the test is completed, remove the earphones and the vibrator from the patient. Press the print button to print a record from the built-in printer. Press the transfer button to output recorded data to a PC, etc. 
please refer to the instruction manual for details.